together. But imagine a relationship that can't be derailed by pretty much anything, age, language, or distance. Yeah, and tonight's Only in Indiana, our own Kevin Rader and photographer Clint Erbacher have a prime example in their story. It's entitled Cancer Club. Say hi. Rosalind Turi has never met a stranger. Here she comes. To 17 months old, she darts in and out of all the rooms at Wing 5B at Riley Hospital like she belongs there. Thank you, ma'am. Because she does. She really can go in there and make anybody smile. It doesn't matter what kind of day they're having. When she walked into 12-year-old Cooper Davis's room, she found more than another cancer patient. She found a kindred spirit. I was, like, sleeping in until about noon, and then she walked into my room and, like, yelled and woke me up. <laughs> She actually is what got him up and walking around and getting out of his bed and out of his room to walk with her. Can you say hi, Rosalyn? It wouldn't be the first time a girl has inspired a boy to do something he didn't think he was capable of doing. You see, cancer left Cooper with a broken back and only a bubbly 17-month-old girl who had her own demons to slay could get him to confront his. So we would beg and beg all day long, and she'd come by and... He'd say, Rosalind's outside, and he'd say, okay, I'll walk. See you later. Go for a walk. Say bye. Then she decided she would rather ride, and so he pushed. There you go. And when she wanted his cell phone, well, he gave her that, too. And they were all. You want to do your dance? Music. Play. I never really thought about it too much that little kids go through this kind of stuff too, so I just tried to get to know her a little better and she's really sweet and funny and she just kind of makes my day like seeing her. Can you twirl? Ooh. Oh. That was new. She learned that last week. The two have much more in common than just shaved heads. They speak a language the rest of us who have never fought this fight what? can ever understand. <laughs> Can you show them you dance? The Tories got their daughter's leukemia diagnosis on Friday the 13th of November. Having just moved from Michigan to Bloomington, they didn't know anyone. Now, their daughter knows everyone. Say hi, babe. For a drill. For his part, Cooper's waged a private war for over a year now, and even though he's back living at home, he comes back to Riley for treatment. Can you say Cooper? And Rosalind. Cooper? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't really think that anyone who'd meet her would, like, immediately fall in love with her. Push the triangle in. Oh, there you go. Who gets there more out of this, Cooper, you. her or you? I'm really not sure. His mom is. It's just making the best out of a bad situation. You want to do a lap back to the room, Cooper? She says it's Cooper. It's amazing how God puts certain people in your life. And we're in a club that nobody wants to be in. But because of the people that he puts in your life, you get through it. Give him a hug. It is hard to find a blessing when it comes to cancer, but somehow these two have found one. She wants to give you another kiss. <laughs> no, they've found two. Goodbye. Kevin Rader, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Oh, that's so adorable. I got a feeling they will be friends for life. Well, and let's hope that's a good long life, Absolutely. too, for both of them.